So brothers and sisters, what I wanted to explain is these athkar that we're doing here. If you notice, has anybody done these at home with concentration about their meaning? If you see, they're so profound. They are probably the most important athkar that you can have in your life from the Quran Sunnah. And I think if there's anybody with any issues in life, if they just sit down alone with this, and they to ponder and read these a few times, you're either asking for something, or you're reflecting over something, and thus, so when you say, لا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله, there's no ability to do good or bad deeds except with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's a recognition, that's an awareness of who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is and what our situation is. إِنَّا لِلَّهِ وَإِنَّا إِلَيْهِ رَاجِعُونَ so if we're suffering from the loss of something or whatever, that there is a benefit. Then there's Alam Nashrah Laka Sadraq, which is um, a special surah for the Prophet ﷺ about expansion uh, of the chest. And expansion of the chest refers to relief, uh, exhilaration, elation, excitement, an opening of some sort. Uh, Allah is most gracious to the believers. And you're a believer, I'm a believer, Ya Allah, you are gracious to me. Just that reflection is amazing to get connected to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and just get ourselves on the right course of action, remove stress, remove feeling of despondency, feeling of being deserted by others, feeling of being oppressed and so on. Allahu waliyyul ladheena amanu. Allah is pr the protector of those who believe. Allah is the illuminator of the heavens and the earth. What else do we need? So just look at this. O oh, possessor of hidden kindness, overtake me with your hidden kindness. And then dua of Yunus alayhi salam is there. And then you've got the four main adhkar. Subhanallah, alhamdulillah, Allah, la ilaha illallah, Allahu Akbar. I mean, it's such a wonderful collection that I don't think anybody can remain stressed after this. Close, you, Lock yourself up in a room and just sit with this for half an hour. And uh, you should come out of it with a much, much more confidence, insha'Allah, and feeling of security with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They all to connect us with Allah and raise our awareness of who Allah is and understand the functions of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in our life. Where did they come from? Who collected these? So the last three, the reason we don't do salawat in between those is because that's from a different selection. That's the Chishti Khatam uh, by the Chishti Mashaykh, right? The line uh, which is uh, from our Hazrat Sheikh uh, Mawlana Yusuf Mutala, Rahimahullah, Sheikh Zakaria, and onward Sheikh Zakaria, Mawlana Khalil Ahmad Saharampuri, and his Sheikh was Sheikh um, Rashid Ahmad Gangoy, and his Sheikh was Haji Imdadul, and it goes up. The first part, until there, until Allahu Nur Samawati, Allahu Wali, Allahu Wali Yuladina Amanu, that's from the Naqshbandi order. There's more, and then they have generally suggestions that you should do these 500 each every day. Now, that might be a bit difficult. We'd be here for a few hours, and we'd have maybe just me and uh, maybe Muhammad Mushtaq might be here with me, and you know maybe uh, Ismail or somebody would be here. Allahu <laughs> alam. So the idea is that it's all beneficial, even if you do it five times a day. So yeah, we do this generally when we're here together. But it's not just for here. They're personal. They're very personal. You can do them yourself. You can do them every day. You can do them with your family. Because it's all reflective. But do them with meaning. That's when you really get the benefit of them. Because it just enhances you. The meaning. It beautifies your heart. Um, it um, incites goodness in your mind. I mean, that's, that's the whole idea of these. So... We've been reading them for a while, so I thought I'd mention it. And then, of course, the reason for the salawat in between is that just adds barakah. Anything that you put a bit of blessing, send a, a bit of blessings on the Prophet ﷺ, and you suddenly get a shower of blessings. It's one to ten. You send one blessing, as the hadith says, and Allah sends you ten blessings. And we're doing it right throughout, several times each. So, inshallah, uh, we've just had a whole load of blessings, inshallah. May Allah accept. May Allah accept it.